you hear my thoughts, you guys. Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm getting ready to go to work. You hear my thoughts. If you imply prophecy, if you claim to be a prophet, this person is false, whoever they may be. These prophets are ordained from birth. And even the, the, the great prophets of the Bible never claimed to be prophets outright directly. In fact, they humbled themselves and they thought least of themselves more than anyone. Okay, there's one particular person, there's more than one, one particular person who she is full of pride. She claims to be a prophetess. Okay, I had a channel before this that was hacked and I had to open up a new one. Okay, and this particular person, she made a video um, called Beware of False Prophets Part 1, I believe it was, and she said in her video that if a pro true prophet of God, okay, one of the things that they do is they call out a sin whether you like it or not. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm far from a prophet. Never have I implied it, never if I claim to be one. But I just felt in my Holy Spirit to tell her because she was she was promoting two other sisters in Christ that were promoting vanity, which is a sin in the Bible. These two women were doing videos on how or why Christians should women should let themselves go, and um, about wearing different types of apparel. And um, I even heard this woman that was promoting these two other sisters, so-called sisters in Christ say that she was going to go shopping and buy new clothes. The Lord does not care what you look like as long as you... What matters is what's inside. In fact, the Bible does um, forbid wearing any type of adornment, any type of physical adornment, jewelry, makeup, um, revealing clothing, as long as you look presentable. Okay? But not to say to go out there and promote Christian apparel so women don't let themselves go. The Lord does not care what you look like. You can look plain and have up, you know, you don't need new clothing. As long as your clothing still look presentable. These women were talking about buying new clothing just for the sake of looking good. Or looking, we're in modern, modern Christian apparel, but just for the sake of looking good. That's vanity any way you slice or dice it. You don't agree with me, that's your problem. Look it up in scriptures, it's there. This so-called prophetess was promoting these other women. And, of course, I also told her that she had a prideful spirit. I called her out on it. She didn't like it. She threatened me. And she could sit there and say she didn't or did not, but she did threaten me. She said, um, sent me an email saying a letter of offense, one, or whatever, that I would apologize or else. And I didn't. I called her out as being a false prophet because she is. Any woman of God would have gone to God, would have, well, first of all, would have said, thank you, sister, I'll take what you say into consideration and discern it with the Lord. But instead, she got offended. She's a very prideful spirit. So if you see anyone that claims to be a prophetess, a prophet, or implies it, meaning that they say that they get a prophetic word, or they get a word from the Lord, or a vision, or a dream, and they state it as fact, you run the other way. Because they are false. If they do not tell you, especially if they tell you not to try the spirit, they're false. You want some knowledge? Look in the Bible. If you see my videos, nowhere do you see me say that I am a prophet, nor imply one. In fact, if I get a dream, vision, or a word from the Lord, I never state it as fact either. I always say I believe, this is my observation, in case I'm in error. In other words, in case I am wrong. So if I was wrong, I acknowledge to you guys that I possibly might be wrong, because I'm a human being, nobody's perfect, that I possibly might be wrong, that's why I always tell you guys to don't trust anyone, try and test every spirit. Number one, in the scriptures, does the Bible say these prophets ever proclaim to be a prophet? Ever. They said, thus saith the Lord, but they were ordained before birth. And even they tell you to try the spirits and test every spirit. So do not trust anyone that says they get a word, vision, dream from the Lord, and they state it as fact. Do not trust anyone that gives himself a so-called title, a prophet, um, apostle, prophetess. This person knows who she is, and you all know who you are. Do not trust them. Do not trust anyone. Do not trust me. You want knowledge? Pick up the scriptures and read it. God bless you. Have a great day. And consider this a warning.
And for this woman that also claims to be a prophetess, stop calling yourself a prophetess because the Lord has already, um, I've prayed on it, and I believe, and I'm not stating it as fact, it's my observation, that he's revealed to me that you're false and you're also a wolf's, a sheep in wolf's clothing. Watch out for these people, guys. Be careful.